Hi, it's Legion Arrow back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post the new video. So I have been playing around with um, Leonardo AI. Um, I did find a prompt guide on Etsy that I purchased um, because I just want to try the app out and see um, some of the things that I could make on the app. So when you type in leonardo.ai, you can hit create an account. I already have an account, so it's just going to pop up um, to this page here. Um, but I'm going to go over here to upgrade so I can show you the different accounts. So looks like they have four different accounts. There's a free account, the print is standard, Artesian Unlimited, and Maestro Unlimited. Um, I'm using the free account right now. Um, I pay for too many subscriptions right now, and I, <laughs> I want to see um, basically things I can get using the free account, um, you know, just to see how it works and see if I like the images and different things like that. So the main thing I wanted to show you besides the type of accounts that they have is this question here. Can I use my generated images com for commercial projects? So it says, yes, you can. However, the rights to use generated images and commercial projects can vary based on your subscription status. So paid subscribers, you retain full ownership and intellectual property rights of your generated images and can use these creations for commercial projects. Free tier users, while Leonardo owns the right to the images you create, you're granted a non-exclusive royalty-free license to use your generated content for commercial purposes. Um, so let's say I create some stickers. Um, I can't be surprised if I see my image on something that Leonardo uses because Leonardo owns the image, right? Even though I could use it to make my sticker kit, um, if I see the image somewhere else, I can't really say anything because it lets you know for the free tier users that um, Leonardo AI owns rights to the images that you create. So if you see your image on, uh, I'm just throwing stuff out there. If you see your image on a billboard <laughs> and you are using the free account, then Leonardo has the right to do that. Um, so now again, this language is, 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 is straightforward, but it's not, basically. <laughs> so I would definitely dig more into their, um, their terms and um, all of those different things. But just wanted to show you that. Um, and I'm sure if you have more questions, you probably can reach out, I'm sure. Um, but I'm not using this for commercial use. I'm just trying out um, trying out this AI site. All right, so I'm going to hit back to Leonardo. All right. All right, so over here you have a few things. You have community feed, and that's probably images that um, people who use Leonardo, their images are here. And if you point to it, you can even see the prompt that they use for the image. Personal feed is images that um, you've created. These are some images that I've created um, using Leonardo so far. Um, so I did, uh, I don't know what this is, but <laughs> oh, 90s fashion sticker. Um, and then these are some sewing things that I was um, trying to work on just to see how they would look. Um, so let me go back to home and then I'm going to hit image generation, right? And this is where you would go to choose the models and everything that you want to use to create images. All right. So um, here, here's where you type your prompt. Here's where you choose the model. So they have different models. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, depending on the model that you use, um, will depend on the amount of credits that's used for the images that's created. Um, 
and these are the number of images of course the more images you create the more coins are used right so i'm just going to click on two um, and i'm using this um, i may say this wrong albedo base xl that's the model that i'm going to use and if you click on leonardo style with this it'll just say Leo, leonardo style or none so i'm just going to leave it on leonardo style um, here's some elements. This is new, so I haven't done anything with this. Um, and then the add negative prompt. Um, like I said but at the beginning, I got a prompt guide off of Etsy, and I'll link that guide below. Um, I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'll just link the prompt guide below. Um, these are some of the um, things that they suggest that you type in the negative prompt. And a negative prompt is the things you don't want to see in your images. All right, so let's get a prompt. All right, so um, this is the prompt that I'm using, detail 2D polish vector on flat white background, deep shadows, very curvy African uh, confident cheapy woman. Uh, LOL doll style. I think I'm going to take that out. I'm not right this second, but I don't like to use anything that's um, copyrighted. Um, so I'm, I might take the, this out. This is a prompt I got from my prompt guide. I just tweaked it a little bit. Um, but I'll take, eventually I'll take that LOL doll style out because I don't want that in there. Um, but I'm going to see what image it generates using this I changed up some things like the outfit, um, the hair color, the hairstyle, um, different things like that. So uh, let's see. She is wearing a sporty purple chic tracksuit. Her hair is brown, styled in a long braid, dynamic, fashionable pose, bright, bold colors. All right. So let's hit generate. And it's going to take five tokens. And it tells you this will use five tokens. Um, it also tells you you're on the free plan and down here is generating your images all right so you see um here are the two images that i got very very cute <laughs> um i like these um so let's see what happens when i take out the lol doll style um because I, I like i said i don't want to use um copyrighted things in my um in the things that I generate. So let's see if it's much of a difference um, after I take the LOL doll style out. That's not much of a difference. So these are cute. Um, I take these dolls um, like this that I make on um, free plans and stuff. I use them in my planner. I just make stickers and use them in my planner. All right, so let's try something else. All right, um, here's another one. Uh, detailed 2D polished vector on flat white background, deep shadows, very curvy African confident chibi woman, LOL doll style. She is wearing a denim jumpsuit with a cinched waist. Her hair is auburn, styled in loose curls, dynamic fashionable pose, bright bold colors. All right, so let's generate this. And again, I'm just now, I'm just playing around with this. I don't know a lot about this um, application. I always try, if I find something new that I want to try, I always see if there's a prompt guide on Etsy. Um, if there is, I try. Uh, and if it's a reasonable price, I will grab a prompt guide and that's how I get started. And then once I'm comfortable, on a site, I'll kind of start playing around with the different options. For example, these models, different things like that. I try different model styles and things like that. Um, but let me see. I took out the LOL style and just wanted to see what it comes up with. Okay, these are cute. <laughs> they're they're are they are a lot different from. Um, the ones that had the the prompt that had the LOL doll style. So I took the LOL doll style out and this is what it gave me. So these are cute. These are really cute images.
Um, so I changed it to Leonardo Diffusion XL. Um, like I said, I'm new to this, so I, I, I guess I can use this on the free plan. We're getting ready to see. Uh, <laughs> so let's see um, what comes up with the Leonardo Diffusion. So I may not be able to answer a lot of questions about Leonardo because, again, I'm new to Leonardo. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just basically using a prompt guide um, to guide me on this process. Um, they're okay. They're cute and unique, but I think I still like these better. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, See 3D animation. <laughs> Let's see what that comes up with. Um, but it's fun to try out different sites, especially those that have a free option. You can try them out for free, see how you like them. And um, if you like everything, um, you can go for a paid plan if you want to. Okay, this is the 3D animation. Again, I think this one here wins the race. <laughs> um, and again, it has a um, personal tab. So it looks like it does save the things that you've made. So let me go back and see. Yep, it has a personal feed. So... The things that I've just generated are now on my personal feed. I can scroll down and show you some other things that I've made. Every time I point to something, the prompt shows up so that you can't really see. So I'm going to try not to point to the things. So you can see the different um, images that I've been playing around and making. Um, again, using the prompt guide as my source and my guide um, with using Leonardo. And again, I will link it in the description box below the Etsy shop where I got the prompt guide. Um, so yeah, this is Leonardo AI. I wanted to show you another free site. Um, even though, you know, that language about what you can and can't do with the free images. Um, like I said, I think because I make printable sticker kits, I believe I could use these images in my, um, sticker kit but i can't be surprised if i see the image pop up somewhere else because leonardo as long as i'm on the free plan leonardo owns all of these images all right um but so just kind of keep that in mind um if you decide to use this all right, so that is it. <laughs> I'm kind of hesitant to say put any questions in the comments because I don't really know anything about Leonardo. <laughs> um, the prompt guide I got is very detailed. I still haven't read over the whole prompt guide, but it's very detailed. It's, it's a great prompt guide. Um, I can say I, I do recommend it um, if you want to just get in here and just kind of play around and you need a little bit of guidance um with the site um again i'm not an affiliate for the etsy shop i just like the prompt guide all right um so if you like this video click the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post a new video and i will see you in the next one